Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about some cheap penny stocks that you can buy that can literally 5 or even 10x your money. These particular investments are hyper risky, but with high risk can come high reward. So I personally will not add my personal take on these companies because I deem that the majority of these companies are too risky for my personal investments, but in the last video you all commented that you wanted a video on the best penny stocks to buy right now so I have handpicked a few and of course if you want to read more about these companies these sources will be linked in the description I'm just going to give you a broad overview of what these companies do and how high the stock price could actually go for these very high risk high reward plays so for more videos like this one remember to go and smash that like button right now comment your thoughts down below about your favorite penny stock on this list subscribe if you are new and without further ado let's jump right into today's story so the first company we have is Mullen Automotive Inc, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, which is an electric vehicle company that manufactures as well as distributes electric vehicles. Recently, in October, they completed an acquisition and a purchase of a company named Electric Last Mile Solutions. And this acquisition included their manufacturing plant as well as their IP or their intellectual property on top of any inventory that the company had. Thanks to the multitude of acquisitions that Mullen has gone through, they now have the capacity to produce around 50,000 vehicles per year which is pretty impressive. Right now, the MULN share price trades for 25 cents per share, which is a substantial decrease from what they were trading at on November 3rd, where the price was 35 cents and then it has dropped down to 25 cents, while analysts and some people predicted that the stock price could 4x up to $1 per share over the next 12 months, but we will have to wait and see. I'd love to hear your comments down below. The next company we're going to be talking about is Open Door Technologies, Inc., ticker symbol O-P-E-N. Right now, the current share price trades for only $1.76, while analysts and professionals in this space believe the company should be worth anywhere between $2 and $13. $2 at the low end and $13 at maximum. This company essentially operates a digital platform that is made for residential real estate in the United States. They've also, back in August, declared a partnership with Zillow Group, which also is not doing very good right now. However, analysts still think that there is upside for this company because a recent analyst has maintained his market perform rating and he lowered his price target from $7.25 down to $3.25. So clearly that is a huge drop from their original price target, but the new price target is substantially higher than the stock's current price, which means that there is still upside opportunity in this particular company. Now, the reason why this was done is because the visibility in the housing market and the real estate market right now is extremely murky. And over the next year or two, it's going to take a while for real estate to bounce back considering all of the interest rate hikes that we are experiencing in the economy right now. And that's the main reason why the analyst decided to lower his price target. The next company we're going to be talking about on this list is BioNano Genomics Inc, ticker symbol BNGO. BioNanogenomics provides genome analysis through their very innovative software called Sapphire. They specialize in optical genome mapping for understanding the various genetic variations and functions of various genomes, whether or not those genomes lead to any types of illnesses or not. This can not only diagnose people very effectively, but it also gives great insight into their own genetics. This particular software that BioNanogenomics has is not only innovative, but it also outclasses all of the traditional ways of optical genome mapping. They also have released a plethora of studies to show that the Sapphire system is not only more cost efficient and more beneficial to their clients, but the tests are faster on top of being more accurate. So optical genome mapping is one of the best ways to investigate the genome, particularly in regards to various types of cancers. And the market for this is relatively small, but because this is a relatively small company, they should make up the lion's share of this overall market. 
The current BNGO share price trades for $2.25, while experts in this space believe the company should be trading between the range of $6 and $12. An Oppenheimer analyst back in July also chimed in and initiated coverage on the stock, and he said this company should outperform the overall market, and he gave this company an outperform rating and a $12 price prediction. So clearly, there is huge upside left in this stock if the company continuously innovates and uses their Sapphire system and the overall market catches on. The next company we're going to be talking about is Velodyne LiDAR, ticker symbol VLDR, and this is for autonomous vehicles. Essentially, LiDAR is a lot of lasers that are being shot out from a sensor to make the car aware of its overall surroundings. And right now, the current VLDR share price is only 95 cents, while analysts believe the company at minimum is worth $1 and at maximum worth $12 over the next 12 months. Also, for the remaining companies on this list, they are rated in terms of their overall growth, value, quality, momentum, and their total grade. So if you want to look right here on screen below the company's name to get what these analysts are saying about the company, you can do that for more information. Currently, analysts are projecting a stunning 62% growth rate from now until 2023 and throughout the year of 2023, and then a 94% growth rate for their overall revenues as we go into 2024, making this a very innovative company. Now, this company is lagging behind one of their fiercest rivals, which would be Luminar Technologies, ticker symbol LAZR, ticker name Laser, but Velodyne LiDAR is looking to compete with this company by merging with Ouster, ticker symbol O-U-S-T, to better rival Luminar Technologies. So always remember to keep that in mind. But if this company could jump from 95 cents up to $12, this company could literally 12x your money, which is insane. The next business we have on our list is Skills, ticker symbol SKLZ, which currently trades for 70 cents per share, very cheap, while experts in this particular space believe the company should be trading at the highest $3.75 over the next year. If you're not familiar, Skills is essentially a mobile esports platform, which was supposed to have extreme growth, but over the last year or two, the company has suffered dramatically. The company is now focusing more on profitability and lowering their overall costs. For instance, the company reduced their net loss by around $90 million for one of the most recent quarters, while Wall Street analysts are now projecting that revenues will stabilize at around $262 million in the year of 2023 and then rise above $300 million in the year of 2024. Right now, 7 out of 11 analysts who are covering this particular business have price targets that would imply around a 40% gain or higher over the next 12 months. So overall, this could be a good short-term and long-term play depending on your overall risk tolerance. Up next, we have Real Real, ticker symbol R-E-A-L, ticker name Real, and this is a discount e-commerce firm, which currently trades for $1.34 per share. While professionals in this particular segment believe the company should be worth between $1.60 and $11. Morningstar also seems to like this company because a Morningstar analyst says, and I quote, the luxury apparel resale space has been chronically underserved. The Real Reels business model exists to serve this end market more efficiently. We view the firm's strategy as sound and believe that ongoing investments in fulfillment efficiency, brick and mortar stores, and diversified supply sourcing represent a solid roadmap toward profitability and potentially excess returns. Analysts are currently forecasting a 34% revenue increase in the year of 2022, which is above our 30% CAGR that we normally look for for investing into companies. However, Wall Street anticipates that the revenues will rise around 20% the year after in 2023. So overall, this company would not be one that I would put my personal money in, but it could definitely give you some good growth. Also, if you're intrigued with any of the companies that we are skipping because this particular article is rather long, again, I always 
always link the sources to any of my information in the description. The next company on this list is a company that we tried to trade off of a really long time ago because we thought they were going to win the USPS contract, but that ended up not happening. However, this doesn't mean that Workhorse is a bad company. Recently, California greenlighted legislation and legal policies that would ban all gas-powered vehicle sales by 2035. This means that particular state is going to be heavily reliant on electric vehicles, and Workhorse particularly creates last-mile delivery vehicles, and it currently trades for $2.71, while analysts believe the company should be worth between $3 and $11, so this company still has great upside and it's rated as an A stock. So in the future, again, even though the stock price has plummeted after they were hyped up and then missed their contract with the USPS, which was very unfair, this company still has a lot of upside left into it now that the stock price has returned to its normal price. The next company we have on our list is Fuel Cell Energy, ticker symbol FCEL. Fuel Cell is a company that essentially focuses on hydrogen energy or hydrogen technology. And I personally am a big fan of hydrogen, except I don't think this company is going to do very well over the next few years. I think it's going to take a lot more for this company to get going. The reason why analysts and investors are interested in this company is that the company's original share price, which currently trades right now for close to between $2 and $3.50, originally surged from $2 up to $26 because a frenzy over green energies and green technology such as hydrogen got way out of hand. Now, many analysts are excited about hydrogen power, except that they believe that this new age energy and technology will take a while to get going, and I 100% agree with them. Up next, we're going to be talking about ticker symbol SPCE, also known as Virgin Galactic. This is Richard Branson's company, which is very unusual because they essentially are advocating for space tourism. Ticker symbol SPCE is trading at $5 right now, while professionals believe the company should be trading between $3 and $14. The reason why analysts are excited about this company is that they believe this company could generate between or as much as $350 million worth of revenue in 2026. And according to Reuters, given the firm's a growth rating, this company's stock price could absolutely skyrocket to $14 in the year of 2026. So even if you bought the stock price now, you could essentially 3x your money in a relatively short amount of time. Now, we do have another company on our list, which I do personally own, which is SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI, which trades for $5.17, while professionals believe the company should be trading at minimum $6 and at maximum $11 over the next year. This company is a fintech company or a financial technology company that focuses on selling various financial services and products to their consumers over the internet. So instead of a bank that operates a brick and mortar store, SoFi Technologies is essentially completely digitalized to where they offer an all-in-one inclusive app that gives their customers access to various financial services and financial products, and some of these banks can't compete with, such as their extremely high interest rates, such as their very innovative investing platform, as well as other benefits that they offer their consumers. Many analysts believe that this company is undervalued right now over the long term, and I agree to disagree with them on that. I do think that it is somewhat fairly priced right now, but the company does have a good long-term trajectory. Now, I disagree with some of the very bullish analysts, such as Luke Lengo, who believes the company could 25x from now until 2030, but I just don't see that happening. But I do think the company is growing extremely quickly at over a 40% CAGR, which is their compounding annual growth rate for the revenue. The company is also supposed to become profitable in 2024, and I believe in 2024, from then onward, the stock price is going to start appreciating in price very aggressively, so you might as well get shares now or very soon. There is a plethora of other companies on this list that we don't have time to go over, but again, if you want to check them out for yourself, go ahead and check the sources in the description and leave a comment down below which of these companies that you want to invest in or are are already invested in. Again, as a reminder, these are hyper risky growth companies that are penny stocks, high risk, high reward. For more videos like this one, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.